I am so impressed to be with this amazing group of ladies today. They, our purpose of the get this, the morning tea marketing misses <laughs> is to offer very, very, very valuable tips to help small business owners and small traders really have, make a big impact online by getting their communication effectively and reaching a larger audience. First of all, I have Narelle Getty and Narelle is a digital access solutions and assistive technologies. That's a lot of words, Narelle, but we you're going to hear about what you do. She helps um, with uh, accessibility consultants and ensures that digital communication is friendly. Uh, her goal is to assist people in business to ensure their websites and all their digital communication is easy, simple to use, interactive, accessible, and it importantly meets Australian standards. I also have uh, Jan Roach, and Jan is with Biz. Connect Web Design, and they are experts in helping small business owners connect with customers online. And they build websites and set search engine optimization, which I know is always a bit of a trick for people to understand. And so that you can specifically target who the business wants to attract and their preferred customers. And last but definitely not least, Kate Smith is a graphic designer and services um, and very experience-based businesses. Uh, showcases the brand to resonate with your ideal clients and increase your bookings. Thank you, Janine. And I think Janine today is going to talk about an article she's written. Um, if you don't know Janine, she assists women in leadership roles to remove limiting beliefs and possess the courage to stand out as an authority in your field of expertise. She teaches genuine skills to speak out and make positive impact in your business and in the lives of the people important to you. So please, Janine, take it away. Thank you very much, Kate. This is such an exciting subject, and it's one I'm very, very passionate about. It's a lot of people step into business, but they really do not have a vision of what they want to achieve. And they most people definitely don't have their vision written down. There's a quote from Helen Keller that says, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight with no vision. And I think you may agree with that, Narelle. Oh, it's, yes. Well, well, how can you look forward to what you want to achieve and stay on track if you haven't written your vision for what your business is going to be? It's not, not talking about goal setting, but the vision for it. And that's the first part of planning in any business. And a vision statement is absolutely vital. A vision statement aids your decision making. You know where you want to go and you know what decisions will help you. It helps attract and motivate talents. If you're looking for good team members, if you've got a vision, then you can express that to them, share that to them and you move forward. It helps maintain your focus as I mentioned, so often there's those bright, shiny objects that really uh, distract us from what we're meant to be doing. I usually say, oh, squirrel, and you get distracted. I'm sure you can relate <laughs> to that, but will they help you maintain focus? Number four, they create a legacy of your business, especially if it's something that you really do want to change the world with what you're doing or in, make an impact in people's lives. They prioritize your resources. Now, you may not have thought about this when you're writing a vision statement and you're planning, is where is the best place for your resources to be to to go so that you can ensure that you can achieve the results that you want they help define your company culture and they instill a strategic leadership plan uh, if you haven't written your vision statement yet i don't know why we choose the first of january i think it's a great place to start i think it just gives us a start date but planning in january is absolutely vital and uh, what do you uh, what else does everyone else think about that with the vision planning well, I've actually got a question, Janine, around the vision statement. Mm -hmm. And what I want to know is you must obviously review the vision statement every year, but would it change? It, would it change? It that's a great question. You definitely review it every year because things in your life and in your business change. Where I was 20 years ago in business is very different now. I have the opportunity now to not be as focused on income. I like income, but to be more focused on the, the what I can offer my community in a way that more people have access to what I do. 
But for me, the vision statement has changed, and but it's still very much about enabling people and women to achieve the results they didn't believe was possible. That's part of my vision statement. And it's, vision statements are very broad, they're, but they're true to your value system and your belief system and, and then mm -hmm. what you what rocks your boat what you're passionate about that's your vision statement mission statement's a bit different usually starts with the word two and a bit like mission impossible if you if you uh, ex, uh, choose to accept this this mission then that's what that's how a vision a mission statement is written mm. any questions to jen or kate with a mission and or a vision statement Sometimes I think that um, it may not need to be anything to do with what services your business. I know where you're heading with that, Jen. No, it's not to do with the services that you offer. That is more in your business plan. Yeah. It is to do with yes. what you want to achieve and the results you want to get. So if I'm, you know, helping women do what they don't believe is possible, Possible. If I go off and it's off the tangent and do something, you know, start working in retail, I really haven't kept to my vision statement. You need to be very clear on that. Oh, I just wanted to really echo that I love the sentiment of having a vision statement and updating that. Um, from a branding perspective, I always ask my clients, what is your vision for your business? Because that top level sort of vision really influences the way your visuals come out. Um, no pun intended, but <laughs> it is pretty um, integral to the kind of visuals that you would have in your brand. Yeah, and I like that you brought the visuals in at it because sometimes people can't quite get what the vision statement is. And if you imagine sort of walking down a long road and there's this sun at the end, you know, it's that it's that space you want to get to. It's a, it's the a nirvana type of thing mm. that's what mm. your vision statement should feel like for you and it wouldn't even have to be long would it janine it should you know one sentence be, yeah one sentence is enough that should be able to say what your vision is what you wish to achieve oh, I, I think you know mm. Some of the vision statements I, I think one that's you know commonly known is the um, Bill Gates won, you know, a, a, a computer in every home. I think that yeah. was one of his or something. That was his vision was to see that. So that was a, a quite specific target that he had. So you can write them like that, that it's what you you can see as to what you believe might change the world. Okay. Would you share a couple with us from maybe from your clients or some that you find really good, Janine, just for some examples? Yeah, I will do that exactly that now. I <laughs> I put you on the spot here. <laughs> you have, I just, and I'm I just... really I loved your um example with Bill Gates, and I thought I think for anyone trying to write this and a few examples is really great. Um, yeah. I myself haven't properly defined my vision, um, which is you know not very good. So this is a question for me as much as anyone else. <laughs> The, uh, I'll, I'll give you just a little bit more of a definition. So the vision is your sum, and that's a little bit what I described it. And it's the, it's the path that leads you to, towards that. And the mission that you're on is going to take you to that vision. So the, the mission enables you to get to the, the vision. And, and, mm. it's, and, and I do love that, you know, analogy with the, the uh, mission impossible you know if you choose yeah. to accept this this is what you do and just on that as well that and i'm going to expand on this a little bit because i'm not going to i probably can't think of any of those other statements at the moment but the purpose is is a component of it as well is what what's your purpose what do you leave, believe your purpose is and until you do a very deep dive into your values and find your two highest most priority values then from there you build your purpose from there you build your vis vision and your mission statement now that might help people starting out kate as you were saying oh, what is my vision what do i want to achieve is is starting with those values and figuring out what are the most important values to you and going from there so obviously janine that's the first thing that people need to do for the first of the year look at their business mm -hmm. plan 
or create a business plan with the first thing is what is their beliefs? Mm. What is their mm -hmm. uh, vision and their mission? Yes. And that's actually something I help people do is one page business plan. And oh, once you've okay. got all of that, that it, it keeps it really simple. And it talks about who your main clients are, who the people are that support you in your business, what resources do you need? And within these nine points on a one page, you've got your business plan written out. Really that's simple way to do that. That's amazing because I have a business plan that's like 20 pages long and do I review it very often? No. If it was no. one page, I'd look at it every week, every day. Perhaps I could have it on the wall. Correct. Mm, yeah. yeah. And that and that's what happens is people get too involved with it and it's just keeping it to one page. It's exactly what you do, Kate. You review it regularly as mm -hmm. things change within your business. You've inspired me, Janine. I'm going to go and look at my business plan now. <laughs> Yeah, likewise. <laughs> uh, it, it, it is. It's it's very important and it's such a simple thing to do it when you've got this plan to do it this way and knowing how to do it. And it is. It's one of the things I work with people every January on is to construct their vision plan from the value system, their purpose, their mission and their vision as to what they want to achieve. Thank you, every Janine. You're oh. welcome. Brilliant. So yeah. where can people find your article, Janine? Will you put a link down below? Uh, I What I do is I is, haven't put it out as an article, but people can get my blog. That's where it comes oh, from. Wow. And what they I do a weekly blog out to all of the clients. You go onto my website, janinevosper.com. You download a free ebook, and then you automatically receive the weekly blog with details of it. Or you can go to my website and find other blogs on similar topics as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. And any, any other question, anything else that you think might be in, of interest to the people listening? And if not, we might just call this one a wrap and we'll come back to one of our other experts for our next video. And we would love to have people, when they see the video and see the training, your comments and your thoughts about this particular one, which is about all the things we discussed, the vision, the purpose, the values, your business plan. But each of the videos, as you see them come out, and there'll be different experts sharing their specialties and their expertise. Again, please make sure that you comment. We, we like to get your feedback. We also like to know what topics of interest and things that we might be able to share that we've got knowledge on that would be of high value to you. And as we said, we were, we are the Morning Tea Marketing Misses. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.